Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first vlog from Phuket in Thailand. So this is one of the southern islands and I've actually never visited Phuket before even though I went to Thailand last year. So I hope you guys enjoy this video and we'll dive straight into the vlog. We just flew from Chiang Mai and uh, landed at uh, like 6 p.m. So Phuket has its own airport and the flight from Chiang Mai was only about an hour. So as I said, we arrived that evening and then we just ordered a Volt taxi to take us down to Patong, which is the area of Phuket where we are staying. And this drive was about a 50 minute journey. So it took quite a while, but we were back staying with Lubdi, which is a chain of hostels and hotels across Southeast Asia. And it was so nice when we arrived because they were just so welcoming as they always are. And we just went straight to our room. Basically, I look like a date. We have arrived in Phuket. This is, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is, whoa, we're getting a breeze here probably. Matthew and I didn't go to Phuket last year. Um, it's one of the islands in southern Thailand. So I'm so excited because we've both never been here. Yay! Are you buzzing? Oh, I'm excited, dude. Um, look at that. Look at the I know. Pool. Wait, there's didn't... no palm trees here, coconut trees, right? I don't know. We are back with Lobdi. You guys know I love Lobdi. They're honestly so good. Like this place looks really cool. It kind of looks like similar to Koh Samui, which we're going to go back to. But we've arrived to uh, welcome messages. Well, a welcome message. We have a little uh, sofa thing. Oh, we have a, a knock on the door. We almost lost our passports, no? <laughs> left them with reception they forgot to give us some back anyway um this is our room it's a deluxe pool view room obviously you guys know i have a discount code if you want to stay in love deep this bathroom oh my gosh stunning hello sink is huge the shower is also huge and a lovely toilet oh my gosh they've given us two loo rolls that's so good that's gonna go a long way we'll probably get food or something very soon because it's just been a long afternoon of traveling. Who cat, baby? Oh, I also just want to say, um, it's either um, Phuket, Phuket, fuck it. I've been calling it Phuket. I've been calling it Phuket. And mum says it's Phuket. Yeah, so if anyone would like to comment down below and tell me how you're actually supposed to say the name of the island, whether it's Phuket, Phuket, any other way of saying it, I really don't know, but if you could just comment down below, that would be greatly appreciated. And then we were just unpacking our stuff and making our room feel like home because we would be staying here on Phuket Island for quite a while, just under two weeks, actually. It kind of looks messy, but this is so clean for us. Like, look at this organization. Wow. And I won't lie to you guys, we were actually super tired that evening because after travel days, we always feel really tired. So we just, you know, basically went to bed really early, but obviously we got food, as I said, before we did that. And then I thought I would give you guys a tour of Lobby in the daytime so you could basically see everything. As I said, Lobdies are basically hotels, but they're kind of hostels at the same time because they have private rooms and they also have dorm rooms. So they accommodate anyone, whether you're a typical backpacker or whether you're traveling with a friend, with your partner or as a family. Like Lobdie is so, so good. And they have everything you need from like entertainment to a restaurant on site, food, really great rooms, washing facilities, literally everything so i couldn't recommend them enough my brother and i first stayed with love d last year in thailand on Koh Samui actually and they did host our stay and from that point onwards i've made such a great friendship with the people who work at love d so they do always host me and obviously i have a discount code down below for you guys to use because as i said they're just so so great So as an island, you obviously have beaches all around Phuket and we could walk to the beach in like two minutes from Lovdi or we could run there in literally under a minute. So one of our first running routes took us along the beach and then inland a bit. And something about the island that I've definitely noticed is that there are so many cats everywhere and honestly you guys, they are literally my spirit animal so I am obsessed with every single cat I see. Good morning. Hello. Hello. It is uh, Sunday. We've been in uh, 
Phuket. I said it correctly. Um, for two full days, we've just been like, well, I've been doing quite a bit of tutoring and we've just been like exploring a bit, finding a routine, stuff like that. It is Sunday, as I said, and we are running to the big Buddha this morning. We woke up at like 5 a.m. to have like breakfast. It's currently 8 a.m. So it's been quite a long time because Something we've realized here is that it's apparently very difficult to get out of bed. I don't even know why it's a lot hotter than Chiang Mai and Bangkok, but we just... These yeah, we just want to lie in bed. Maybe because it's our taper week, so we have the marathon next Sunday, so in a week... I feel like, a week. Yeah, running just catches up with you. Yeah, it's suddenly catching up on us. But basically, we're going to run to, as I said, the big Buddha. So it's kind of flat up until the climb to the Buddha, which is like... 300 meters or something right over 3k yeah. um but the total distance we think is like um 12 kilometers so we have to run down to this beach we're at patong so we have to go to karen beach or something and then up to the buddha um it's the pun this morning i have my shocks headphones in i showed you these in chiang mai where i bought them and yeah we are ready to kind of go have my hydration vest on the usual running outfit anyway I'll show you guys our route to the Buddha. Yeah, so we literally thought this route was gonna be flat up until the Buddha, as I said, and then the last four kilometers were an uphill, but we were so wrong. Like the whole of this run was completely undulating, like up and down non-stop. So we did, um, have to basically call it quits. We also left it really late in the morning to start, so it was incredibly hot. And uh, my favorite thing about this run for short was seeing this tiny ginger kitten. It was so cute. It did obviously belong to someone. I didn't show you guys, but I'm just very surprised I didn't walk away with this tiny kitten. It was so cute. And as you can clearly tell, I really don't like the meat of coconuts, apparently. We're eating uh, lunch at 11.30. Mm. What's new? Mm. Curly fries. Very warm, eh? They're really hot. We didn't get to Big Buddha. Um, nope. We decided it was too much for the Sunday run a week before the marathon. Yeah. We would have died. It was so far away. So we just... Uh, it was also very heavy, wasn't it? Oh my god. We looked on the route yesterday. It said it was like flat until you climbed to the Buddha. Yeah. It was up and down the whole way. So we were like, no. It's just gonna I think kill we looked at a different route though. Mm. It wasn't the same route. I think we were taking the car route, not the walking yeah, route, right? Walking route. We have our coconuts, which we've been having. They're so good. The best thing for like electrolytes. Mm. Some curly fries. They're good. Very good. Very good. Crunchy. Thank you. Thanks. Mm. This is what we got yesterday. Got the same as yesterday. That looks a bit better than yesterday. Do you think? Mm. Smells very good. We have some stir fried vegetables with tofu, rice. This is chili and garlic, so I don't touch that. Cucumber, tomatoes, and then your pizza hasn't come yet. We also ordered fruit. Chip. Thank you. So if you watched my vlog from Koh Samui last year, then you'll know that I actually tried and tested their new vegan menu. And then I'm not sure if the vegan menu is actually an official thing at the Lobby on Phuket, but we were given vegan food anyway, and they actually made a vegan menu for us. But later that afternoon anyway, or evening when the sun was setting, we just walked along the beach, which was really nice because it was quite busy, but the scenery is so stunning anyway. Wonderful shop! But they still have a 7-Eleven. 
Let's go. There's a, whoa, I look like a chicken. There's a fruit market literally right outside Love D and we got today, oh my God, these. This is a dragon fruit shake. How good is it out of 10? 12. Mm. Like look at this color. Wow. And it was a 60 baht, 60 baht, two for 120. That's still so good. You can get any fruit cart for free mm. if you buy it. It's amazing. So if you didn't know, Angela and I love running and we've been training for Phuket Marathon. So this was our taper week and we've just been reducing our volume. So our overall mileage for the week, but trying to keep the intensity of our runs pretty high. marathon is literally gonna be the hardest race of my life and I've not done many I've done two marathons one half marathon and a 10k third marathon um and yeah just finished 10k I have to do that well we both obviously have to do that four times um plus a little bit extra 42.2 yeah we were just running around this reservoir thing it's called bad Wang or something, or Bat Wang Reservoir. We got like a bolt here, took half an hour, just because where we're staying in Patong, like you literally can't run around there. Um, it's not really runner friendly at all. I mean, we have our route that's like just under 10K, but it's so busy and chaotic and not ideal. So we tried this. It's basically like a jungle all the way around. Apparently the full loop round is 6.5 four kilometers tried in new gel as well i felt okay like my legs felt really good i mean touch wood but uh it's just so humid and hot like it just slows you down um this jiggling around is also really annoying mm, i think i'm just going to be wearing this and not the water because there's water at basically every 5k so i think i'm just going to go without it because it jiggling around is so annoying like listen Imagine having that the whole time and it weighs you down a bit, but I'll just wear this with my phone in. 10k done though, the run of the day. This is our taper week, so day four of the taper basically. My average pace is 508, but I didn't stop my watch. Um, and I like paused three times, um, well, stopped to walk. So my average pace would not have been anywhere near that. I also needed the toilet this whole time just to empty my bladder, <laughs> but that was weighing me down a little bit as well. The first 4K, 4K, I uh, was like under five minute pace, but that was just not sustainable at all. Um, to think that I ran most of London both years under five kilometer pace is kind of crazy because this heat just doesn't allow you to do that. Um, I'd say most, I don't know if most of my fitness is back after four months off because of my injuries, but it's hard to tell in this climate because you have to readjust and I was obviously getting back into running after an injury so it's really really hard to judge um, where my fitness really is right now it's all over the place like one day you have a really good run another day like you feel awful um, so yeah Angelo felt really sick today so he's somewhere behind me and I'm okay but guaranteed tomorrow I will feel rubbish I might walk back to find him He's somewhere. So we've just done some work and we're going to get lunch. Are you excited for lunch? Always. Always, I'm so hungry. Um, and then we have to do washing today. They have washing on site, which we actually didn't think they had. But anyway, we have to do washing today because literally we're out of clothes. I'm literally out of underwear. We have some fun plans for Phuket, but a lot of it is gonna be after the marathon. We don't wanna die before the marathon so you know we're going to a water park you guys will see that in a different video but we don't want to do that before the marathon because you know as i said we don't want to die before uh we run 42 kilometers right yeah, we don't want to die before we die i know yeah i mean not dying during the marathon would uh, be ideal this is the vegan menu breakfast 
main course. I'm gonna try this today, pineapple fried rice. You get in the burger. I'm trying the uh, veggie burger with chips, I assume it comes. I hope it does. And then we'll probably get our usual fruit and coconut. This is my pineapple fried rice in a pineapple. I really wanted it to come in a pineapple. We're trying a new flavor today. Mm. Black bean and, no, this is black sticky uh, black rice. Sticky rice and taro. I know, we haven't tried this one yet, so we thought we'd try it from 7-Eleven. It's very good. Mm, they love weird flavors, but anything taro is actually really good. Mm -hmm. Milky sweet. Yeah, milky sweet. They do a plain taro one, which is very good as well. Today we are going to extend our visas, um, but we don't actually have visas, it's kind of confusing. It's also very windy right now. We have visa exemptions, so if you if you like live in this big list of countries, including like the UK, you can get a 30 day visa exemption, so you don't need a visa, but you can extend that. At the end of last year, early this year, it was like a 45 day extension, exemption, but I think ours is only 30 days. Um, but still, we're trying to go and extend it. We're also steaming up. I'm gonna make a YouTube short showing how you do it. But yeah, I'm still not really sure what we need, the documents, but I think we have everything. We just withdrew money. We have photocopies of our passports. I had to get um, extra little passport photos done in Chiang Mai. Imagine if we don't even need those. And I got them done. But anyway, it's uh, lovely weather today. Um, these people are gonna ask us if we want a tuk-tuk, guaranteed. Taxi, taxi. Mm. No, we don't want a taxi. Oh, also, you know what we're really good at doing? Locking ourselves out the room. We've done it twice already. Um, we did it like once in um, Chiang Mai, once or something. But yeah, we just come out the room and we then realize we've left the key inside. And we have two keys as well. No, we have three keys. We have three keys and all of them are in the room. Now we have four. I just won both games. I won the last game, but you won all the others. We had lunch, now we need to go and get our passports from the visa place because we uh, apparently have visa extensions. Woo! It was such a good feeling to get an extra 30 days to stay in Thailand. And as I said, I made a whole YouTube short that basically explains how you get a visa extension. It was so, so simple to do on Phuket. We were so happy we didn't do it in Chiang Mai or Bangkok in the busy cities because it just would have taken so much longer and we would have been stood in a queue for all This ages. camera has been having a very hard time like filming and not steaming up. It's so humid in Phuket. Oh, I can see. Oh, it's me. It's me in the mirror. <laughs> I thought it was you. I thought it was you in the mirror that I could see. Chiang Mai was dry heat. Um, and when we were running in the morning, it was like 24, 25 degrees if we got up super early. Um, I just don't think we're gonna have temperatures like that here in Phuket. The marathon, which is where we're going to tomorrow, we're traveling to the destination. Um, it's Laguna. That will be like the next video after this one. Yeah, we've been running this week as you've seen and I really don't know. Like I can't make any predictions at this point. But yeah, other than that, Phuket is very cool. Um, obviously the islands in Thailand are just like stunning. The views are amazing. Patong is definitely like a very touristy area. So it's quite busy. There's a lot going on, um, like lots to do at the beach. We're being a bit more reserved with what we do, with what we've been eating and choosing to eat just so that we don't mess with our stomachs or anything. We have, um, I don't want this to be TMI, but are you really traveling to Asia if this doesn't really happen to you? But we have had the shits. 
<laughs> this week i've had a lot of work to do like tutoring and then editing catching up on stuff the island is actually quite big like phuket is quite a big island relative to say ko lanta and ko samui especially ko tao you've also got ko fifi ko pipi i'm not sure how you say that but i think we're gonna go to ko pipi from ko lanta final thing to say the final little update because i mentioned this in the chiang mai video about like napping because of the heat and it making us really tired i would still say that we've been feeling generally more tired like more tired than we would be in the uk let's say and i do put that down to the heat and the humidity we obviously have been doing a lot this week has been our taper week so we haven't been running as much but like we haven't been napping i wouldn't say as much i think just because we are getting used to it and acclimatizing but like realistically i think it takes a long long time to properly acclimatize especially with the running because we've been here like a month tomorrow we've been here a month i'm gonna have a shower i think do my teeth we're gonna go to bed we have been going to bed super early this week which has been so nice um and we tend to like wake up quite early it's actually really nice like going to bed early and um waking up early to make the most of the day today we uh had a lion because it was our official rest day we've just been like stretching today um and then we'll do one final run tomorrow i hope you guys have enjoyed this video this little introduction to phuket obviously there will be the marathon video and then another phuket video a bit more touristy travelly doing some really really fun stuff and yeah i will speak to you as always in my next video i'll leave you with the bloopers um make sure you like this video if you enjoy it and also make sure if you are coming to southeast asia and you're in a location where there is a lobby then you can use my discount code obviously um and yeah, I will speak to you very soon in another video. Bye! We're still in Phuket. We were gonna... Literally, it's too humid. I can't even film. Look! <laughs> what? Mm. Bang! Slope, 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 slope. Whoa, my hair is stuck to my head. A bit. Like... Um, I can't really think of words right now. Yeah. It's like supposed to be period. Like, um. A sanitary bag. Yeah, a sanitary bag. No. You can definitely use that.